Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero. Welcome back to another 1v1 probably noob match. I'm not going to say pro match, although I probably just defended these players. I do not know who they are. However, this is a, an extremely, extremely rare replay in Zero. We have over on the left hand side of China Vanilla with the yellow color. This is Czech Race. And then all the way over on the right hand side, we have the red player with the USA Air Force, much stronger general. And this is Meno, you, no, me know, you know. <laughs> me know, you know. Okay, me know, you know. Over on the right hand side with the air. So, yeah, I never said that this is going to be the highest replay in the world, but it is one of the rarest replays in the world. To my knowledge and on my hard drive, and I think I've got them all, I think there's only ever been four draw games in Zero that have been, like, publicly posted. So I believe this is one of them. Um, draw games are possible in Zero. Let's say you have a power planet and a supply against a power planet and a supply with no units, no nothing, no dozers. You're both hunted. That kind of situation can arise. And you're both left in the game. You're both not going to sell your buildings. It's literally whoever, whoever's internet will disconnect first. You could stay in the game for three days. <laughs> it prob probably would mismatch, even though you probably only had two buildings. But um, yeah, draw games are really, really rare. If you have any, or even if you have near close uh, draw games, then do mail, mail them to me. My email's uh, on my YouTube channel. If you go to the about section and press like business email or whatever, my email's in there. Or it's dominatoruk2 at gmail.com. Uh, but we've got a combat shnook here and a helix. Okay, it's a little bit unorthodox. Combat shnook is chasing down a helix. Don't typically want to make a helix against the Air Force. Because a King Raptor or a combat shnook can just wreck it. Uh, Red is losing shnooks. Yeah, before today, I'd not actually ever seen this replay before. I had it saved on my hard drive. But because it's only 30 kilobytes uh, size, I typically don't post uh, <laughs> replays of that size. Yeah, we've got Gats coming in from both sides. So uh, Mino, you know, is not going to be able to collect any more cash. Although he does have 4K in the bank, so it's not near a draw yet. But S Yellow is now hunted. So he went for a war factory and an airfield, which... You did actually see Fargo do that in the World Series against Size when he was Air Force on Forest of Camelot, if you remember that game. And he was spamming Gatlicks and Gats. But the thing is that that combat nuke is now going to die because this Gat has all the way come back from me, me no, you know's base. And already we're in a bit of a dire situation. So Yellow has money. He has a, a power and two supplies. He could do a supply truck rush. He does have two Gats out on the field. So, to the best of my knowledge here, I think that Yellow... Uh, is Yellow going to win? No, Red still could win because he could build a barracks up here and put some guys inside of those buildings and capture that oil and he would just win. He could sell all of that stuff. Get that dozer up here, building a barracks before you sell all that stuff. He's got a dozer here as well. So, yeah, Red should win here because Yellow... Has only got two gats out. Two supplies, no more production. But that dozer is being locked onto, so that dozer is going to die. But this one here has just built a uh, war factory. Could have made a barracks up here, though. Garrison both of them and got that oil. That would have been a way to win this. But I think played at the very top level. I think that's why draw games are so rare. It's such a hard situation to get into. Sometimes I think you probably need to delve into lower level replays to get a draw game. And me know you know uh, has made one V. It's not selling anything. Um, he's sending a dozer into the enemy base. Supply truck rush. All the way from that left side, this is the war factory of me know you know. I think yellow actually is the better player here. I think he knows... He, he, he knew a basic build order, like the two supplies. Can a helix. He was going for a flamer drop, I think. It's the wrong it's the the wrong build order against Air Force, I think. But it's it, it's a build order, whereas Red has just kind of gone for a combat nuke and then doesn't really know what to do after that. So yeah, we don't have many. <laughs> 
We don't have many or even any units out. The dozer's actually demining the main base of yellow. Supply truck. I mean, could red still win? <clears throat> could sell that. He'll get $1,000. Could get like four MDs out with the cash that he's got on that one he's just produced. Could have loaded up that with a bit of micro. You probably could still take out that gap. But this gap is vet one. That V also could just go and base trade. Because that V will kill these buildings here faster than that gap will probably kill these few buildings. Because you've got to worry about the war factory as well. So red here still should win. Uh, yellow's got like 10k. Red's going to make some MDs, but he's making them extremely slow because he does not have the power. Yeah, I am going to start a playlist on YouTube of all, all the draw games that I've ever seen or... Yeah, all the draw games that I've got. I'm going to I'm gonna post them all. In fact, I might even post near draw games as well because there was one game, Size Against Ruiz and an Air Force Mirror, and it basically came down to CC versus CC and there was like the support powers and stuff. So I might post near draw games. And then maybe put in the title of the video if it's a full draw or a uh, near two draw. And I know that's a bit of a spoiler, but I think they're just so rare. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> All right. I was wondering how do we get this draw, but uh, that's actually quite rare for an MD. And a, uh, yeah, the, the V and the... Gats that both die at exactly the same time. Normally the V would survive in a little bit of HP, but the, the missile defenders were already firing. They were already in the air. And I think that's it now. But you could still sell that war factory, get 1,000 cash. You could squeeze out four MDs and go out across the map. But that said, though, even with four MDs, and they do kill trucks, if you made enough trucks, because he's got 20k, if you spent 20k on trucks you would be able to overwhelm the MDs and run them all over. So it could still be a draw, even if a pro was in the seat here. We can tell this is a lower level player. I don't feel bad offending them at the beginning now because you should be selling that war factory. You should be making MDs. In fact, you should have just made a barracks up here in the first place and you would have won the game. Those are still demining the base. And we've got supply trucks now probably heading for the barracks so when the mds are produced if they're even produced because he's not selling his building which is a huge mistake but nobody's got any attacking units at the minute the only way uh yeah the only way is to sell that war factory you can't even sell that barracks because you won't get enough money to build a v or anything like that um you can actually sell that war factory could have squeezed out a ranger in the capture upgrade snuck over here because there's no truck over here and you probably yeah you could have got that oil and probably still won the game now, though, I think it's impossible because the trucks are now camped in the barracks. Yeah, yellow should be pulling at all of the trucks at this point. Just in case there were a few MDs out because three trucks might not overwhelm them. But if you pulled all of them and all of them, it definitely would. He's spending some of his cash now. He's got 17k as opposed to 18 a minute ago. Yeah, he's looking for stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, you'd be sending that up here, like, uh, hoping to... This is hoping that he doesn't have this oil. And, it, and if he did, you'd just have a heart attack and realize you've lost the game. Um, they're probably typing to each other. But yeah, maybe... Maybe Red just isn't thinking to sell that war factory. Or maybe he doesn't know how much cash he gets back from it. Or maybe he thinks he's more likely to lose if he has one less building or something. You can definitely sell it as a beginner player. But, yeah, you should know that if you sell a war factory, you get half of its value. So if, if it's 2,000 cost, then uh, you'll get 1,000 back. The, the only difference is, like, supplies. Like if you've got a $2,000 supply. But it comes with a free Chinook worth 1,200. So you've got to take that 1,200 off the supply first. So that leaves you with 800 on a USA supply. And then you half that is 400 and you get that's what you get back. You get 400 back from a supply. And the same with China as well. That's 1500. You take the truck off because you get one truck free. That leaves you with 900. Half of 900 is 450. 
So you could get a 450 for that and that. Whoa! I didn't know that's possible. <laughs> Did not know that is possible. Those are self. I, I thought dozers were completely immune to mines, but has he just stepped over so many and just got such a low HP that it's just triggered it or something? I don't know. I thought dozers were completely immune to mines, but this game is over. I'm borderline thinking we need to fast forward here because there's no way, unless Red sells that. I'm just going to. Oh, there we go. It's over. Yeah, 11 minutes. So I don't know who actually quit <laughs> first then, but it doesn't matter really because it was an absolute draw. So yeah, like I said, there's only four of these replays in existence, to my knowledge. But then if you add the near draws, where it's like CC versus CC, there's probably still like less than 10 or something like that. But yeah, let me know if you're interested in this playlist. I will create it and I will share it to everyone. And you you have a check them, ch check them out. And let me know if you think we should have two playlists, one for absolute draws and one for near draws. Yeah, something like that. But I just thought it was really interesting. Even though these are clearly low-level players, um, draws are just so rare and so fascinating that it's just uh, it's cool. There's no draw function in Zero. You can't like press escape and press off a draw, or you can't like both quit at the same time. Someone will, will always lose first, whoever quits first. But in that case, if it was in a tournament setting, that would be classed as a draw, and you'd have to replay it, or it'd go down as one-one or something like that. Um, but yeah, you let me know what you think. I thought it was super super interesting. GG, well played. I'll see you in the next one.